I haven't done a uh, face camera video in a while. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? So, as you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be a bit different. I want to start a series on my channel about hoaxes. I mean, some can be completely creepy, and some are probably going to be completely dumb. Like, maybe the 15 days of darkness we were supposed to have back in 2015. Let's start with the Louisville, Milwaukee Perk. Attention to the movie The Purge and the very real threat stemming from it. Back in August 10th, 2014, a kid tweeted out, Who's trying to get a Louisville purge started with me? This tweet went viral, causing real concerns for the local authorities. To take any threat that we receive, particularly one that encourages and incites violence against our community, we're going to take that seriously. The purge was to start at 8 p.m. Friday night and end at 6.30 a.m. the next day. The schools have shut down all the events that Friday night. The identity of this prankster was not released to the public. And he apologized for all the trouble he caused and mayhem of everything, so everything's alright, right? With already heightened awareness after the mob violence last March. If this was a 130 mile an hour wind, it would be impossible for me to stand without being uh, tethered down. Back in 2017, a man posted a video on Facebook of a hurricane destroying Barbuda, claiming it was Hurricane Irma. This video got over 600,000 shares and views and found its way to Twitter. Even the meteorologists were fooled by the events taking place in this video. Come to find out, this video was taken back in 2016 from a tornado that hit Uruguay. Like Abraham Lincoln said, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Or nowadays, videos and links that you just randomly click on. A Minneapolis man says his joke about acorns took on a life of its own after going viral. Even this past month we had a hoax. I don't know if any of y'all seen it yet. Eric Curtis posted on his local Facebook group about acorns. Yes, I said acorns. They were on the sidewalk that made his competitive barefoot running training difficult. You know what, I'll just read the post for you. Hey Northeasterners, lately I've noticed that sidewalks have been littered with acorns. As a competitive barefoot runner, this makes my training sessions very difficult. I'm not sure if many of you have stepped on an acorn without shoes before. It's quite painful. Obviously, you never stepped on a Lego before. So this is just a friendly reminder to please keep your sidewalks clear of any acorns. You may injure those who are active members of the barefoot running community, including myself. I would hate to have to complain to the city about this, so I just wanted to give everyone a heads up. Peace and love. He put a lot of thought into that little joke until Alex Connor posted it to Twitter, and that's when his joke went viral. He was even interviewed by the Washington Post. Sad to say, after the interview, his Facebook letter was exposed by BuzzFeed. When they found out he didn't know anything about competitive barefoot running. Go figure. Now that little Facebook group is spammed with acorn memes all over, making it a big joke. Social media is the cause of a lot of pranksters and trolls. I don't know, just don't believe everything you read or click on. If you know of any other random hoaxes, let me know down in the comments. Also, leave a like down there and let me know if you enjoy this type of video so I can make more. Also, subscribe. Until then, peace, guys.